Hey guys, welcome to the video and here today, the first part of a three part series on how to make your own themes for the PS3. And I got the idea of doing this yesterday when I was actually making the video for the icons and themes that I ended up sharing with you guys that you can download. And I thought, why don't I just make a tutorial on how to make the themes? Cause I, searched around for a little bit and I really kind of wasn't happy with what I saw. I thought I could do something that's a little bit detailed and maybe better. And that way these videos um, just can be out there and, you know, they can be like an archival type thing. So in the future, when people go back to the PS3 and revisit it 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from now and beyond, they can use these videos to customize their system, mod their systems or whatever. That's why I still keep doing these PS3 tutorials because it's not just for those people who are using their system now, but those who are going to dust it off and use it five years from now, 10 years from now, or just buy another system to replace the one from their childhood or when they were younger, 20, 30 years from now. All right, and in this first part of the three parts, we'll be covering the intro, which is what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to show you the program we'll be using, how to install it and set everything up, and then give you some suggestions and recommendations on some other things to kind of set up and get ready. And then kind of just go over the program itself uh, real quick. And uh, yeah, just talk about that some, and then, Part two, which should be tomorrow, will cover the images and the icons. I'm not going to show you how to actually edit images. I mean, that's, you know, those tutorials have been out forever. There's a billion different programs out there that you can use. But basically, we're just going to focus on the parameters of the images and the icons. And again, some recommendations, suggestions and things like that regarding those. And then we'll wrap things up with part three which should be out on Tuesday. Today is Saturday, at least as the making of this video. Uh, and in that one, we will um, finish up with sounds, then editing the XML file, and finally compiling and building the actual theme. So we'll cover that in part three. Now, if you're watching this at some point in the future, obviously all three videos will probably be done. You can look in the description for the links of the other two videos. If you're watching this as I'm releasing it, then the links will appear down in the description as I finish the other videos. So with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and focus on installing and setting up what it is we'll be using to create our themes. All right, so we'll be using Theme Builder. I'll put the links up in Mega and in Mediafire. You can go ahead and download the zip file. You'll find a few files in there. Go ahead and extract them. What you'll need is the Theme Builder 2.5 Full, Theme Builder 3.0 Upgrade, and then the 4.0 Beta 2 zip files. You can extract those three uh, to your desktop. And before we get started, feel free, guys, to run these through any virus scan you want. Um, they're completely clean. People have had issues, though, installing these properly uh, because there's kind of a little trick to them. So as long as you follow along, you should be fine. I did this on my other PC that was on Windows 7 uh, a couple of days ago. And now on this one, that's on Windows 10 and everything's worked just fine. There's just a process to it. So let's, let's get started by installing Theme Builder 2.5 full. This is the one we want to start off with. So let's go ahead and launch that. Okay. We're going to hit okay here and next there. Just leave it on the uh, default there. We're going to create a desktop icon and then just install okay, and hit OK here, All right? Hit next. And this will install uh, X, or I guess it's called X Cross Media Simulator. You're going to want to install this. Hit yes. Again, desktop icon next and install. Now, this may need to install additional things here, as you can see, uh, set up for direct X. Just hit accept, hit next and then just give it a minute or two. All 
Okay, and then when it's done, let's go ahead and click Finish. Okay, and then here we are going to click Next, click Accept, click Next, hit Install, and again, just give it a minute or two. All right, when it's done, we're going to click on Finish, and then we'll hit Finish again. Now, right here, make sure you unclick that and just hit Finish. We're not going to open it up just yet. So as you can see, we have our two icons here, the one for Cross Media Simulator and the PS3 Theme Builder. But again, do not launch anything. Now go to the Theme Builder 3.0 Upgrade EXE file and go ahead and install that. We're going to hit OK. Next this. Just leave it right where it's at. Hit Next. Create Desktop Icon. Yeah, just leave that clicked. Hit Next. Install. We are not going to launch it. Just hit finish. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our beta zip file. Now, even before we do that, we need to go to the location where theme builder has been installed to. So you're going to go into your PC here. Let's go to where it installed to, which is normally in your C drive. You're going to go to program files 86. And then right here, you should see the folder for PS3 Theme Builder, or just look for it uh, in the list. We're going to go into it, and then you'll see the files that are here. We're going to leave those files right there for now. Now go ahead and open up the 4.0 Beta 2 zip. Okay, go into that folder. And what we're going to do is we are going to drag and drop all of these files into this folder. So let's do that now and overwrite everything. So we're going to hit um, yes here or replace the files. We're going to copy and overwrite everything. We'll hit continue. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now that that's done and we've uh, transferred all those files over, there's still one more step. And what we're going to do is come here to the PS3 theme manager.exe file and we are going to right click and let's go to properties and what we want to do is we want to go to compatibility and we want to set this to run as an administrator all the time so set set it to run the program as administrator then click apply and click OK and now that we've done all of that we can go ahead and close out of this window and now you can go ahead and launch the theme builder so let's go ahead and uh, Let's click on this, hit yes, and just give it a second or two, and there we go. All right, and that's the program that we will be using. So let me just go over a few things here real quick. All right, and starting off with a couple of options that you have up here on top, I've never ever had to use these for anything, and then recently I've clicked on them and they didn't seem to do much of anything, but I've never had to use them in order to create a theme, so I really don't know what the purpose of some of these things are. Uh, moving on away from that, the next thing that I strongly suggest and recommend is that when you're making your theme, you work off of one that you've preloaded already in here or that you've opened up. You can make it 100% your own because you can edit everything and change everything, but I think it just makes life a little bit easier. So let me show you what I mean. You can create a new theme from scratch, like here, by clicking New Theme, create, uh, click Create, New Theme from Scratch, call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. You can always change it later on. I'm going to call this Test Theme, hit OK, All right? And now you have access to everything here. Now you can see everything is pretty much blank, and you might question, well, where does this display or where does that display or where do I see this information, right? Um, because there's nothing really there. Now, this is a little bit easier, the icons tab, because this is how your um, XMB is set up. So this is basically your main menu. These are all of your columns and the titles of each column. And then you have the sub menu for each one of those columns showing up down here. So when you go into settings, you can see you have all the settings sub menus here, just the way they are 
on your PS3. So this one is a little bit easier to figure out, you know, what icon will go with what menu. Uh, that one is pretty straightforward. <clears throat> if you come over here to backgrounds, notifications, sounds, and things like that, there are no backgrounds anywhere and there are no sounds. So you really don't know what does what. But if you load a theme instead, it kind of fills everything up and serves as like a guide or, you know, kind of like a placeholder or a template to kind of help you along. So let me show you that now. Now down in the description, I'll leave a link where you can download this theme file. It's the same one I shared with you guys in yesterday's video. Just download the zip and extract the theme anywhere to your desktop. I already have it right here. So this time, instead of clicking new theme, what you can do is go to open and then navigate to where you put this theme at. So in my case, it'll be desktop and you can see it right there. Let's open it. And now you have some stuff that's populated. Now you can see an icon. And if you have this theme installed on your PS3, it makes it even easier still because you can go into your PS3 and you can like go to your theme section and you'll see this there. And then you'll realize, oh, this is the icon that pops up when you select a theme. When you're choosing a theme, you have the theme name and to the left, you have a little icon. And then here, this icon pops up in the information section of the theme and then this information here also pops up there when you go to icons now when you click on something you can see the icon there relative to the uh, main menu icon and the sub menu icons will populate here as well and you can see you know what goes where which i think just makes it easier and then here you got your backgrounds and then you have your sounds and now you can play your sounds although you really can't hear it right now, but on your end, when you play these sounds, you can figure out which one of these does what on your menu as you're moving around or selecting things or going back or whatever. We're going to focus more on the sounds in part three. So that's why I think it's better to load up one of these and then change it as you go along because it kind of guides you and helps you. The other thing is this is where the, um, cross media simulator comes in handy when you have icons kind of set up and you want to see how they're looking just click here on test drive and then the cross media simulator will open up and you can see the icons there so whatever changes you've made you can come here and it will show you those changes immediately to the icons to the background or whatever now you can't hear the sound and you can't go into some of the uh, sub menus menus but at least you can get an idea of how um, some of these icons look if you click on the cross media simulator uh, on its own right here you're just going to get the regular normal icons and just a regular uh, background so i think this comes in really handy and it's ultra useful all right and the last thing for today as we go through these videos and whatnot, and as you try this out on your own, always remember to save your progress. Now, the good thing here is that whenever you mess with one of these like preloaded themes, when you make changes and when you save it, the original file remains untouched. So in this case, we loaded up this theme here. You can make changes and everything else, but it doesn't alter this original file. Instead, it saves everything in the documents folder of windows so we can go here into your pc go into c then into users and then into your user in this case mine is zoilus m2 and then look for the documents uh folder uh, there's also usually a shortcut over here like on windows 7 or whatever um so go there and then you will see my playstation themes and here are two folders the test theme which i showed you earlier when we created a, a brand new theme from scratch and here's the theme that we are working with right now that we loaded when you go into this folder you will see it extracted all of the images the sound files and all that stuff so when you make changes um to you know whatever to the icons or add your own icons make changes to the sound files um save your progress all of that stuff 
will be done here in this folder and it will not affect the original file at all. And when you're done, it will create a new file right here in this one. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. And tomorrow we will continue with part two, where we will focus on images uh, like the backgrounds, the icons, and a couple of other things here and there. You know, I appreciate you guys watching. If you found anything here informative, useful, helpful, or if you just want to show some appreciation or love to the channel, of course, the best way to do it is to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Much love to all you out there. You know it's a crazy world, man. Be careful. Take care. And we'll see you on the next one.